Hey there guys, Zach here for Windows Central and welcome back to another video. Now today we're unboxing and taking a first look at the Lenovo Yoga Book. This was recently announced and is pretty infamous for its lack of keyboard. Well, technically not true. It has a halo keyboard which is basically a flat surface with lots of lights on it that can act as a keyboard. We'll be taking a look at that in a second. So this is the actual unboxing experience. We all know we like to unbox things here at Windows Central and the Lenovo Yoga Book's unboxing experience is pretty nice so pulling the box open here you can see it opens up much like a book similar to the name of the Lenovo yoga book I wonder if that was deliberate I imagine so so this is the book itself my word very thin very small surprisingly small in fact very light as well and feels very premium so we'll be taking a closer look at that in just a second uh, but for now let's take a look at what else is in the box you can see here we've got our power plug and our USB cable so this is a USB type A to, US to micro USB uh, connector so no USB-C here unfortunately uh, but that's to be expected considering the price is pretty low for a tablet like this or laptop sorry and then on the other side we've got a power plug which in the UK obviously you get a UK one and the USB port goes into the back of it and then you can charge your Lenovo tablet slash laptop which is very nice I'm not sure what I'm calling it is this a tablet or a laptop I'm going to call it a laptop this is the yoga book is a laptop here since this is the Windows 10 edition of course now moving on we've got the notepad now the <laughs> yoga book does come with a physical notepad with actual paper in it I know what year is this but the Lenovo Yoga Book can do something pretty cool. You can write on this paper with it docked to the Halo keyboard and it Windows or the tablet itself should pick it up and actually translate that into a program like OneNote or Paint or whatever inking software you're using. So we'll also demo that later. It comes with this magnetic strip at the top here so it can stick to the Halo keyboard without slipping about, which is very nice. Like I said, we'll look at that in just a minute. But for now, let's keep going through the box. We've also got our... It's literature, I believe this is. Yes, it is. So lots of literature if you like to read literature. And in there is also a SIM card. Uh, sorry, uh, a SIM tray opener. Even though there's no SIM on this, it's a micro SD card slot. Okay, now moving on to the pen. The pen itself feels pretty similar to an actual real life pen. And that's to be expected since technically this is a real pen. The Lenovo Yoga Book comes with a pen that comes with real ink heads that you can switch between here, so you get three, uh, which is very nice, and that's for the notepad, which I demoed just a second ago. And of course, the default head, which is in the pen by default, is of course a non-ink head, so you won't you know, be writing with real ink onto your Halo keyboard unless you switch out for an actual ink head, which is very nice. And that's about it for the unboxing, so let's take a look at the book itself. So all I'm going to do here is simply slide out the Lenovo from its wrapping, I guess, since that tab I pulled did absolutely nothing to help me with the unwrapping process whatsoever. So yes, here it is. Uh, my word, I must say. First impressions, this device is wow. It just feels wow in the hand. It's super thin. And of course, since this is a yoga book, we do have that patented hinge at the back here, which allows us to throw the screen across all the way around 360 degrees and turn it into a tablet, which we will demo in a minute. Then on the side here, we've got our micro USB ports, our micro SD expansion slot, and our mini HDMI port, which is interesting. Then on the other side, we've got our volume rocker, our lock unlock power button, and our 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Pretty standard for a tablet. No, no full size USB ports here as technically, I guess Le Lenovo are advertising this as a tablet. I'm not entirely sure what they're ad advertising it as. But like I said, since this is the Windows 10 edition, I'm calling it a laptop. So yes, that's where you write with the pen. That's the pen area here. And of course, let's show you here. You can dock the notepad to the Halo keyboard and begin writing on the notepad with real with a real pen. Not a real pen, but with the pen with ink heads. And the real ink will come out and it'll be like writing on normal paper because you are technically writing on normal paper and Windows will see it. Now, of course, it is magnetic, so it won't slide about. So if you're writing in your hand here, it should be pretty good. Setup process, identical to most Windows 10 laptops, really. The trackpad is pretty interesting. It takes a minute to get used to, and that's the pen head there, the default pen head, sorry. So since I didn't show that earlier, there's the what it looks like. And we will demo that pen in action in a second. Now, 
Once it booted up, it took about a minute or two to boot up. It wasn't too long. This is running an X5 processor, an Intel Atom X5, or is it 5X? Regardless, it's not the highest end CPU, but it does come with four gigabytes of RAM and a 1080p display, which is pretty nice, 10.1 inches, so not a huge device by any means. Uh, and this was my first experience writing on the Halo keyboard. Now, many people have said, this is just like the Surface RT touch cover. Not really, yes and no. This feels a little bit better and it feels more like writing on a tablet since this is more physical and it's much harder than a Surface RT uh, touch cover. Now this is my, this is the first sentence I wrote, well, word crashed, but after this, this is the first sentence I actually wrote on this um, uh, book here, on the Lenovo book yoga book, sorry. <laughs> and uh, we shall see, this is the typing experience when you first open it out of the box. So this was me typing for the first time. And I'll also turn the sound up here so you can actually hear the haptic feedback and the sound it makes when typing. And you know, that wasn't the worst in the world. I'm not I'm not a bad touch typist, so I mean, I wasn't gonna be terrible from the get go. Uh, but after a few minutes of writing the same sentence over and over again, I actually was able to improve quite quickly. It literally only took a few minutes. So this is my second attempt, I think, yep. So technically a little bit worse than the first time. What? But if we cut ahead a little bit, so after a few minutes here, you can see that I actually got a bit better at it. So doing well, doing well. Oh, I missed the, the last Eon jumped. Uh, and then this is it. Am I gonna do it this time? Jumped over the lazy dog. Yes, perfect, perfect sentence. So that was only a few minutes and that's pretty fast typing as well, especially on a touch area. So I'm not gonna say the typing experience is that terrible, but then again, I am, uh, I'm not the worst at touch typing. So if you're, if you hate touch typing, this will not be the device for you. But if you can get away with it, then uh, this isn't a bad device. Now let's take the stem of the pen itself. By pressing the pen button I just pressed there, which I'll show you a case up close in a second, you will see uh, that I can now enter pen mode and begin writing on the Halo keyboard. And it will show up within Windows, which is very nice indeed. This works with any inking software, Paint, OneNote, Adobe Photoshop, you name it, this should work because uh, it's basically just mir mirroring what where the mouse is on screen. So if I write here, so writing on this is much easier than writing directly on a screen, I think. I, my handwriting's far better. Now in real life, my handwriting's not great anyway, but if my handwriting was good, it would be looking good on here rather than looking all weird because I'm writing on a screen, which is really nice. So my first impressions of the pen, Love it. I love the writing surface on the Halo keyboard. I'm pretty much in love with this device, I think. Very nice indeed. And switching back and forth between the keyboard and the pen uh, inking area. Uh, it's just one button. Again, since this is a yoga product, you can flip it all the way back and turn it into a tablet, which then, uh, annoyingly, it doesn't, do, it doesn't turn into tablet mode automatically. There's no prompt to do it. Uh, you need to manually do it via the uh, action center here. Uh, but once it is in tablet mode, it's a full on tablet and it's thin enough to be a tablet, if I'm honest. It's very nice, a very, it's a really cool two in one that's actually not bad at being a laptop either, which I'm pretty excited about. So let's take a look at the keyboard up close. You can see the pen button here, which when I press, the keyboard will disable and I can now begin writing on the surface, just like I showed a minute ago. So we can also hook up the, uh, the notepad. Now it is magnetic, so it won't slide about. And if I had the real ink heads in, I would be able to ink onto this paper and Windows will see it. So let's demo that here without the ink because I haven't got the ink in right now. But yes, pretend there's ink coming out of the pen onto the paper and Windows can see it. Paint.exe is actually tracking that pen and is now taking my notes as well. And writing on paper is arguably easier than writing on the surface. Uh, the hollow surface and on a screen. So technically you should get perfect inking there. Now, a couple first impressions on the trackpad. It's interesting. Uh, the left and right click buttons are on the left and right of the trackpad. They're not below it like normal. And the FN key on the keyboard is in the wrong place. I keep trying to press control, but hitting the FN key, which is pretty annoying. That's gonna take some getting used to as well as the actual trackpad itself, which it seems to stick quite often. Perhaps I just need to do some updates, but that's my first impressions of the device itself. And we shall be doing more coverage on this very soon, of course. So there you have it guys. That's a quick look and unboxing of the Lenovo Yoga book. Stay tuned at Windows Central for a full on review and more coverage on the book very, very soon. Thanks so much for watching and I shall see you in the next one. Bye bye.